Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you, my dear participants? Good evening. My teacher, good night. Good evening, my dears. It's good to have you here in class. I'm glad to see you. Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, my dears. Today is uh, Thursday, so it's our last day of the week. If you see, we are finishing our first week of uh, Intermediate 3. So we are uh, finishing today the section number one, and uh, we expect to start section number two and part of section number three by next week, okay? Uh, so for today, we are going to continue and I'm going to show you on the platform what is the part that we are going to cover with today's class. We are going to cover from 1.11, Modal verbs can and should, and we are going to go. I recommend you to go to the platform and listen and watch the, the video. Then I ask you to please this week. It means tomorrow that you will have the chance, or maybe Saturday or Sunday, to complete the knowledge check. Okay. In the knowledge check, you will use the modal auxiliaries: can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Okay. So you have. Uh, to select a choice and then send it to be graded. Then uh, we are going to cover 1.13 um, with lesson objective said that, that in this session, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't and shouldn't to sound natural when speaking. So you will get this uh, with the practice, but also I recommend you to listen to the audios that appear uh, on the platform. Uh, let me see. Today we are going to cover also, let's see if we can advance a little bit. Okay, and then uh, we will go to uh, lesson objective number two. I think that maybe today we won't be able to start here. If time allow us, we are going to start. If not, this will be our first topic for uh, coming Monday. So I'm going to stop sharing the, the platform and I'm going to go with my presentation to share with you. Okay, here. Okay, uh, yesterday we started to talk about models, the concept and the examples, and we learned that we can use could for possibility, permission or request and that we can use may to ask for, to express possibility, to ask for permission. And also we um, use uh, might to talk about slight possibility. Uh, we, we said that the past form of may, it's uh, also might, okay? And can, we can use can for ability for permission in an informal way and also for offers in an informal way. We use should to give advice and to make some logical deductions. And we use will for, which is a future tense uh, auxiliary or, or helping verb, but also it's to ask uh, or to <clears throat> um, propose invitation. We learn about the structure. We said that we have the subject plus the model plus the ver verb base form and the, the complements that can be adverbs or any other complement. We learn about when to use can uh, for ability in present, could for ability in past, can for possibility in present, and could for possibility in past. Can for permission in a very informal way, could for permission in a, ver in a very formal or polite way. Can for request, informal request. Uh, could for polite request, very formal. Can for offer help. Could for make suggestions. Cannot for saying that you are not allowed to do something. And could to say <clears throat> a conditional of can. Uh, now we are going to go through the structure. In the structure, you can say for affirmative sentences or, or positive sentence, you can say, I can cook. It means I have the ability, the skills 
to cook, so I can cook. You can cook, he can cook, she can cook, it can cook, we can cook, they can cook. In the negative sentences, I, we say, I can't. So here you have to make an emphasis uh, with your uh, sore and with your chest, with the end, end. Because if you don't do this emphasis, it sounds like positive, okay? So for uh, being understood that you are saying that you can't, you have to make the emphasis, I can't. It's different from I can, I can't. If you see my, lip, my, my lips, when I say I can, they are not too open, not too wide. But when I say the negative, I say I can't. And it sounds guttural from my uh, sore. So uh, I would like that you can repeat to make the difference. Me gustaría que repitamos para hacer la diferencia entre el afirmativo o positivo y el negativo. Ok? Okay. Let's repeat. I can cook. I can cook. I can't cook. I can't, I can't cook. Can you cook? Can, can you, cook? you cook? Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. Repeat. Can? 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 can. 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 Very good. So that's the that's the, the difference that you have to make an emphasis with the negative. Uh, in order to make questions, you move the, the auxiliar or the modal at the beginning of the sentence and then you say, and then you say, can I cook? Can you cook? Can she can he cook? Can she cook? Can he cook? Can we cook? Can they cook? And you, of course, can provide affirmative sentences saying in short answers, yes, I can. Or you can say, no, I can't. And you make the emphasis in the negative, okay? okay. So, after saying this, I would like that you can help me to complete these uh, sentences using the, word in the words uh, in the above boxes, okay? So, the above boxes are can can't so you need to read the sentence first and then uh, provide affirmative or negative okay i will give you okay. one minute to read and then that you can propose voluntarily to answer one okay i am okay okay very good okay Are you ready? Do you have one at least? Me, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Okay, Elizabeth and then Noé. Okay, Elizabeth. Okay. Julie. I, uh, Julie, sorry, I confused your voices, <laughs> ladies. I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Uh, number okay. one. Uh -huh. I can. I can. I can or I can't. Can. Okay, with the negative, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I can't go to work today I can't. because I'm sick. I'm sick. So you are explaining, you are giving a reason why you can't. Okay, what about number two? Okay. Uh, uh, Noe? Okay. Uh, can your uncle speak English? Yes, he can. Okay, in both cases is can, but the first one is a, a question, so it goes at the beginning, right? Okay. Very good, so there it is. Okay, number three. Me teacher. Okay, uh, <coughs> tenía um, David, después, and then okay. Arnold. 
Okay, because I saw Arnold's okay. uh, hand ri uh, rising. Okay? Okay. No, my friend can't drive, but he can ride a bicycle. A bicycle, okay, very a good. A bicycle. Yes. My, no, my friend can't when drive, can't. but he can ride a bicycle. Can. Very good. Thank you, my dear um, David. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, we can we can't go to the beach today because it's raining. Okay, because it's raining. Yes, these days we can't go to the beach. Okay, very good. So I have a uh, Katia and Crisia. So Katia okay. first, and then Crisia. Okay. Can they come with us to the store? No, they can't. Okay. So in this case, if you see, we are asking permission in an informal way. For example, when the children says, Mommy, can I go with you to the supermarket? And you say, no, you can't. I'm going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, oh, I want to go. Okay. No, they can't. You're saying no. Okay. Crisia. Hello, Crisia. Thank you, Katia. Hello, teacher. Uh, the number six. Okay. Number six. Denise. Denise. Denise can play the piano. She knows how to play it. Okay, very good. So it's an affirmative, right? Yes. She has the ability to play the piano because she knows how to do it, how to play it. Okay, very good. Uh, number seven. Another volunteer? Uh, let's see. Oops, sorry. Arnold, uh, Arnold already participated. I don't remember. Okay, so I think that all of you participated. Uh, Elizabeth? Are you there, my dear Elizabeth? Yes, oh, teacher. Okay, would you like to try number seven? I already finished my work, so I can go home now. Very good. Yes, you can. You are allowed it to go. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, Juan Carlos Garcia. Hi, teacher. Number Hi. eight. Yes. Excuse me. Where can I buy a bus ticket? Yeah, very good. It's a question, right? Thank you. Okay, uh, what about teacher. another volunteer? Yes? Teacher. Okay, Arnold and then Julie. Okay. Arnold. Okay. Can you hear me with my homework? Very good. It's a question, right? It's an informal request. Very good. Thank you, Arnold. Julie? Yes. Number 10. Mm -hmm. English can lie, but they can swim very well. Okay, very good. It says that they don't have one ability, but they have the other one very well developed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julie. Okay, let's see. What about number 11? Me. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't believe what he said. He's not telling the truth. Okay, very good. It's when we are um, complaining about something that someone said that is not true. Very good. It, uh, 12. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, number 12. Henry can meet us tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Well, Meet him in the library. Okay, very good. Uh, 13. Me. Okay. My little brother, my little brother can tell the time. Now he knows what time to watch TV. Okay, very good. And the last one? Crisia? Okay, Crisia, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Can you see that bird? No, I can't. 
Where is it? Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, I will do the last one. Do you think you can find your way home? It's like, I don't know, I'm not sure that you are able to go by yourself. So, for example, when someone is sick or drunk, maybe, you say, do you think you, you will find your way home? Okay, very good. Thank you. Yes, Congratulations. Teacher. Yes. Yeah, yes. teacher, I think number 13 is Kent. My brother, my little brother can't tell the time. Now he knows what time to watch TV. Mm, why do you think it's can't? Because está diciendo que no, que, no, que no puede decir la hora. No puede. No sabe qué hora es para ver tele. Pero luego dice, ajá, pues genera un poco de confusión porque dice mi, pe, mi hermanito, digamos que diga, no puede decir la hora. Pero luego dice, ahora él sabe eh, a qué hora ver televisión. Exacto. Ajá, por eso es que creímos que es quién. Porque ya, ya, ya sabe la hora, ya sabe decir la hora. Entonces, como ya sabe decir la hora, ya sabe a qué hora puede ver televisión. That's okay. why. That's why. Ok. Because the other sentence is like supporting the first one, the second sentence. Or clarifying. Ok. Very good. <clears throat> Okay, let's, let's continue with the other uh, example. Now we are going to uh, perform a conversation. I have here uh, an example of a conversation and it says, uh, can, you can say, can I help you? But remember that can I help you is a little bit informal. It's formal when you say, may I help you? And then can I have a box, a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? In all those cases, you are requesting something. And uh, to make questions, you say, what do you suggest? Or what do you uh, suggest? Uh, or what do you have for dry skin? Uh, try uh, some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. That those are short conversations. But here I have another one that it says, complete this conversation with the verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Then compare, uh, compare and practice with a partner. So what I will do, since I have uh, nine participants, I will try to divide you in pairs, and I would like that you can work completing the the conversation and then performing. Uh, Katia, do you have a question? No. No, because I see your, no. your, your hand ra rising, but I, I lower it. Okay, no. very good. <laughs> okay, very good. So let me do the split of you as participants, and then you discuss what should be the best way to complete, and then I will ask at least two uh, pair, pairs of volunteers to perform this conversation, okay? So let me see. Okay. Let me see here. Participants. More. Oh, let's see. Okay.
Julie and Katia? Are you going to work together? Okay. Because I see that you have not joined. So you can work here, don't worry. Uh, you just uh, do your, um, your evaluation on how do, uh, do you, you should uh, answer the, the conversation and then just in case of performing, just practice, okay? Okay. Okay. Can you need to? Me? Okay. May I help you? Yes, I can have something for EBI. Can I have? Can I have? Yes, can I have? Sure, I. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Suggest. Sure. Recuerden que ah. vamos a usar. Ah, suggest. Suggest. Uh -huh. I, I can. Sure, I, I can suggest, suggest a, bottle a bottle of a drops. Uh -huh. Eye drops. Eye drops. Yeah. What is the meaning of suggest? Sugiero. Yo le, le sugiero. Ah. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. Okay. The next. What do you suggest? Usamos el mismo, ¿verdad? What do you suggest for sore muscles? You can try mm -hmm. ointment. It's this ointment. Excellent. Ointment. It's excellent. Okay, I'll take it. And then the other one? Go. Could I have? Could I have a box of barrages? Mm -hmm. Here you are. And what do you um, do? You do? Do you do or what do you suggest? Sorry for insomnia. What do you suggest for insomnia? Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, I okay, let's see what about the other participants. Hello, Hello David. teacher. Is everything okay? Uh, I don't done? take the the picture. You don't? I don't, don't take the, the picture. Okay, don't worry, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to close. Hi, teacher. Can you please share the presentation? <laughs> we don't have the material. Please. Me too. Come on, buddy. Teacher, get the mute. Teacher, you mute. Okay, I'm ready now. I'm, I'm trying to send you the picture, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. Ahí la tiene. Ya se fue. It's done. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. We see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So now you are going to create the new groups again. No, uh, I'm sorry, but the time uh, flies. 
So I don't know if some of you had the chance. If not, I will ask to Katia and Julie that, the, that they were performing, try okay. to model us the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Katia and Julie, okay, teacher. could you please perform for, the, for your classmates? Okay. Mm -hmm. I live A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the, the rest of the people listen and then you, you complete yours, okay? Solo yo con Katia. No, las dos. Van a presentar la conversación ante el público porque ustedes yo escuché que ya lo estaban haciendo. Okay. ¿Hay alguien más? ¿Hay otra pareja que lo haya completado? ¿O nadie lo logró completar? A excepción yo, de... No es. Yo creo que no, teacher. No. 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 Vaya, entonces las escuchamos a ellas para que vean cómo quedó la conversación y luego vamos a, a movernos al siguiente y luego hay otra conversación donde los demás que no participaron en esta pueden hacerlo. Ok. okay. Julie, hey. Katia. May I help you? May I help you? Katia. Katia, can you listen to us? Hello. Okay. You're Hello. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have something for it? Itchy eyes. Sure. I suggest I borrow of ice drop. Okay, thank you. What about conversation number two? What do you um, suggest? Mm -hmm. More what? muscles. Sore muscles. Muscles. You can try this ointment. It's excellent. Okay, I think. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm, could I have a box of bandage, please? bandages, please? Here, here you are. Mm -hmm. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Mm, may some of the herbal tea is very Try. Nice. You can say try, try some of this herbal tea. Recuerden que era usando lo de arriba, ¿verdad? Aquí está nuevamente, try. Try some of the herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Congratulations. So that's the way. The idea is that you have to use the words, uh, the modal verbs can, could, may, have, try, or suggest, or should. Okay, very good. <laughs> so okay. now let yeah. I have a question. Yes. When I have may and can. Lo que pasa es que may eh, eh, para para pedir ayuda may es más es más diplomático es más amable. Uh -huh. Can lo utilizamos pero de una manera más informal cuando tenemos confianza con la persona. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Very good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, my dear. So let me try to move this to other place. Oops. Let me move. I need to move this. Okay, that's the way it is. Okay, let me let me advance to the to the other one. Okay, where are you? Aquí están ustedes, chicos. Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hola, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Por un momento pensé que esta cosa me había sacado. Lo que pasa es que no los puedo ver. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Ok, ¿can you watch my screen? ¿Pueden ver mi, mi pantalla? No. No. No, I can. 
I'll okay. teach. Okay, very good. Okay. I'm going now. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, now can you watch it? Yes. 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 Very yes. good. Now we are going to move from Ken and Kent because I think it's clear and from May uh, can could can can't could may and might to should okay we sh we use should modal should to provide advice or suggestion for example you say uh, your hair is too long you should get a haircut tu cabello está demasiado largo deberías eh, hacer un corte verdad o, o, o hacerte un corte sí eso um, o tener un corte, haircut. Uh, you can also uh, use should to express a situation likely in the past. Mary should be at home now. Give her a call. Mary debería estar en casa ahora. Dale una llamada. Likely in the future. It's like a prediction. They should win tonight. They are better, they are better team. Ellos deberían ganar esta noche. Ellos son el mejor equipo. O son un mejor equipo. We use should plus have plus past participle to say uh, that the subject didn't fulfill their obligations in the past or didn't act responsibly. You should have given your boss the report yesterday when he asked for it. Tú deberías haberle dado a tu jefe el reporte ayer cuando él te lo pidió. Uh, we can also use, let me see here, uh, should plus be plus the verb is ing, and the meaning is that the subject is not fulfilling their obligations now or is not acting sensibly. You should be wearing your seatbelt. Deberían estar utilizando su, tu cinturón. Imagine you driving and your co-pilot not wearing the, the um, seatbelt, so you may say, you should be wearing your seatbelt, okay? Uh, we should be studying for the test right now. Deberías estar estudiando para el examen ahora. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we have another model which is out to, it, and it's similar. It's practically equals should uh, with out to. However, it said that should can be replaced by out to without a change in meaning. Should puede ser reemplazado por out to sin ningún cambio en significado. Significa que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, you ought to study more. Es como you should study more. Nada más que el out lleva la partícula to, out to, ¿verdad? Y el verbo siempre se mantiene en infinitivo, pero es lo mismo. Know that out to sounds more formal than should and is used less frequently. Hay que notar que out to es más formal que should y se usa menos frecuente, ¿verdad? We use shouldn't to advise not to do something, usually because it is bad or wrong. You shouldn't throw your little litter onto the street. He shouldn't play with those uh, wires if he doesn't know what he's doing. You shouldn't work so much. Entonces utilizamos shouldn't para decir eh, o dar un, un consejo de algo que no deberíamos hacer, ¿verdad? No deberías eh, tirar la basura en la calle, eh, no deberías de estar jugando con esos eh, wires, son como alambres, si no estoy mal, si no sabes cómo es usarlos. Ajá. Eh, no deberías trabajar tanto so, o demasiado, so much, ¿verdad? Okay, so now, after that we have been uh, explaining what or how we can use should, I have here the structure. In order to make questions, you use should I plus the verb. And it says that I want advice from you. Cuando yo hago una pregunta usando should I, es porque yo le estoy pidiendo a usted consejo o sugerencia. Entonces, cuando yo le respondo, por ejemplo, should I go to the bed early? You say, yes, I think that you should go to the bed early for you to rest. Entonces, cuando yo le devuelvo el consejo, yo digo, I think you should, y el verbo, ¿verdad? O puedo decir, I don't think you should do it. 
no creo que deberías hacerlo. Eh, pero no digo, eh, lo que no es correcto es decir, I think you shouldn't, y el verbo, sino que simplemente dice que we don't use shouldn't with I think. Es decir, no mezcle las dos cosas. ¿Verdad? No mezcle I think con shouldn't, sino que eh, mejor dígalo en positivo. I think you should do this. O I don't think, entonces vea que lo negativo no lo lleva el, aquí en el should, sino que va al inicio con el auxiliar eh, do. I don't think you should. Pero nunca se dice I think you shouldn't. ¿verdad? No, 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 hace, no, no es correcto. Eh, okay. should, should I buy the red, the red shirt or the blue shirt? Aquí digamos que yo estoy en una tienda y le estoy pidiendo consejo a usted. Should I buy the red shirt or the blue shirt? ¿Cuál de las dos camisas debería comprar? ¿La roja eh, o la azul? Y usted me responde, I think you should buy the red one. Pienso que deberías comprar la roja. Eh, one, in this case, remember that one can be used to avoid the repetition of the word shirt. Aquí lo que hacemos con la palabra one es que lo utilizamos para no sonar monótono repitiendo shirt dos veces en la misma oración. Twice in the same sentence. I think you should buy the red shirt because it's nicer than the blue one. Okay? Y then if you want to give a reason, you can use a comparative eh, to give a reason for your advice. Yo creo que tú deberías comprar la camiseta roja porque es mucho más bonita o más agradable, ¿verdad? Que la azul, ¿ok? So, eh, here I have another, um, another eh, structure that is to show you how is the structure. In the affirmative form, you have the subject first, the auxiliary sure, should, and then the verb. And then a complement that can be an adverb, for example. You should exercise every day. For the negative form, you have the, the in the structure, you have the subject at the beginning, uh, is similar, should later plus should, but then you add the particle not. And remember that you can say shouldn't, you can, uh, Aquí ustedes pueden hacer la unión, ¿verdad? Con la contracción, contracción y decir shouldn't en lugar de should not. Vea que sí podemos decir he shouldn't drink much soda, pero lo que no lleva es I think, ¿verdad? Eh, lo, lo que no tienen que hacer es mezclar el I think con should not. Pero en este caso dice he should not drink much, much soda. Él no debería tomar mucha soda. Uh, in the interrogative form, the structure is should, you move the auxil, the, 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 um, in this case, the modal at the beginning of the sentence, and then you say should plus the subject plus the verb plus a complement, and of course the question mark that tells us that we are asking a question. Should I eat junk food? ¿Debería yo comer comida chatarra? Maybe you say. You shouldn't eat um, uh, junk food, or I think uh, you don't uh, have to eat junk food. Okay, very good. So after this, uh, do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? Mm, no, is it clear? It is clear, it's so, so clear, right? So here, once again, I have the structure. I should eat, and all the pronouns, eh, if you see. Eh, si ustedes se fijan, aquí me quiero detener un poquito para hacer una mención importante. Eh, si usted se fija, cuando utilizamos cualquiera de estos modales, y aunque esta es una oración en presente simple, usted se fija que he, she, e it, el verbo no lleva la, la S, ¿verdad? Y eso es justamente por el efecto que causa el modal, should. Entonces yo, aunque es tercera persona singular y la oración esté presente, pero el verbo remains the same, se mantiene igual. No le agrego la regla de S, ¿verdad? 
porque estoy usando un modal aquí en medio. He should eat, she should eat, it should eat. ¿Ok? Eh, in the negatives, I shouldn't eat, you shouldn't eat, he shouldn't eat, she shouldn't eat, and so on with the rest of the pronouns. And for the questions, uh, remember that you have to move it at the beginning and you say, should I eat? Should you eat? And so on. And also you can give short affirmative uh, answers. Yes, I should, or yes, you should. Or, <coughs> excuse me, in the negative, no, I shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Okay, here I have some uh, examples. Sorry. For you to, I'm just moving this. Because when I send to you and I put in a PDF, and the, if this is moved, you cannot watch it very well. Okay, here I have some examples for you. So I would like that you can, that you can uh, provide me a should or shouldn't possible answers, okay? It's similar to the previous one. Este es un ejercicio similar al anterior. Entonces me gustaría que voluntariamente me, me comenten cómo creen ustedes que debería quedar. Aquí estamos utilizando um, should or shouldn't. Ok, sí. Cristia. Okay. Cristia levantada. Yes. Uh, the first one it's um, I shouldn't go to work today because I'm sick. Okay, very good. You are giving an, a, a self-recommendation. Very good. Okay, number two. Number two. Okay, Arnold. Should, should your uncle speak Spanish? Yes, she should. Okay, very good. Okay, Julie. No, my friend shouldn't write, but he should write a bicycle. Okay. Teacher, entonces cuando se usa un modal, no se le pone al final la S al verbo en tercera persona. No, cuando se usa un modal, no. Ok, one, one more volunteer. Vamos a hacer una más porque ya vi que el tiempo ya se me está acabando y sí me interesa que hagamos la conversación. Por ahí tengo otra conversa. Ok, okay. We, uh, we shouldn't uh -huh. go to the beach today because it's raining. Ok, Arnold, very good. Thank you. Ok, so I think it's clear. It's pretty clear, right? Está bastante yes. claro, ¿verdad? Cuando usamos el should y shouldn't. Ok, very good. Now look. Y tengo más ejercicios, pero vamos a ver si logramos. Ok, look. I have here a similar conversation to the one we did. Eh, so let me see if I can. Ok. I will take the picture and I will send it to you. Voy a tomar la foto y se las mando para just to double check that you have it. Para doble chequear que la tiene. Ok, let me see. I will send it to you. Creo que alguien más llegó rápido. <laughs> ok, but anyway, you have it. You, no, that's ok. Very good, very good. Ok, there you have it twice. La tienen dos veces, por si no la pueden ver en uno. Ok, so now I'm going to, to, uh, to, to uh, put you apart in, in pairs. So I would like that you can uh, discuss using the words. Remember that you have to complete the conversation using the words that you have here. Ok, uh, use, would, use would have or should have plus the past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? ¿Qué debería yo haber hecho? What would you have done? ¿Qué eh, habrías hecho? 
you should have told them about it. Deberías haberle dicho acerca de esto. Eh, you shouldn't have hidden it. No deberías haberlo escondido. Eh, I would have called him. Yo, debe, yo eh, ab, lo habría llamado. O podría haberlo llamado. I wouldn't have seen him. I wouldn't have seen, sent him an email. No debería haber envia, haberle enviado este correo. So what I will do now is to eh, create break rooms. So let's see. Let me see the options. Oops. Quiero ver. Eh, no sé por qué no me permite crear en... Hola, hola. Fíjense que por alguna razón no me dejó hacer las parejas. ¿Me pueden escuchar, chicos? Ya, yeah. 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 Ok, yeah. por alguna razón no me dejó hacer las parejas como yo preveía. Así que si gusta, como no somos muchos, no creo que se interrumpa. Eh, veamos cómo, con quién quieren trabajar. Escójanlo ustedes libremente. Y voy a necesitar al menos dos parejas de voluntarios para, para poder presentar. Ok. Ok. Ok, who will be your partner? Eh, Me, teacher. Ok, Noé, en Elizabeth, it was Elizabeth. Julie. Ok, Julie, sorry. Ok, Julie en Noé, go ahead, adelante. Ok. I live A. Ok. Cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? Eh. You should have uh, you should have said something. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't have uh, taken the money. Okay. I ignored an email. Pro, lo digo también. Yes. Please. Okay. I ignore, ignore an uh, email from someone I don't like. What goal you have done? Done. done. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, <clears throat> I will have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Okay, very good. Thank you, my dears. You did two conversations. Uh, so, I don't know if Elizabeth, I saw Elizabeth raising hand, but I don't know if she would like to. Yes, teacher. Okay, Elizabeth, three and four, who will be your partner? Who will be partner for Elizabeth? Okay, Chrissy. Chrissy? Okay, I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I have done? You should have taken mm -hmm. the call and told, told them. 
Tom, tell them her, the person you you call later. Call later. Mm -hmm. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? I would have taken. Took it. it took it. Mm -hmm. It with me. Oh, sorry, and taken. Taken. Sorry, taken. Yeah, taken. I will have taken it with me and throw. Thrown. Thrown it away. Throw me away. Yeah. Lemon. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, my dears. Okay, now you know how to use the uh, should for sentences, I mean for conversations. Now I would like to show you this exercise for you to try to guess the possible um, answer, okay? Can you watch it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, proposals? Propuestas para las respuestas? Elizabeth. Thomas wants to travel to Europe next summer. He should save his money. Okay, very good. Thank you. Volunteer for number two. Mm. Uh, the me teacher. Okay, Noe and Julie and then Crisia. <clears throat> okay, number two. Uh, should he go to school today? Yes, he should go. Very good. Okay, uh, Julie and then Crisia. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, number three, should I fix the sink? No, you shouldn't to fix the sink. Fix, you shouldn't, no, you shouldn't fix the sink. Fix mm -hmm. the sink. Yeah. No lleva el tú en el intermedio, ¿verdad? El C no sería la mejor opción, sino el A. No, you shouldn't fix the sink. No debería, ¿verdad? Porque es el lavamanos. Tal vez el consejo es porque no lo vas a poder reparar. You won't be able to, to fix the, the sink. Ok, Crisia. Thank you, Julie. Number four. Uh -huh. I have really pro a big problem. What? What should, I, what should I do? Yeah, very good. What should I do? Thank you. Mm. Okay. No, David. Number five. David. Okay. When when you have a cold, you should drink lots of water and get lots of rest. Okay. Uh, very good, David. Okay. Any other volunteer? Me. Okay, Katia. Number six. Okay, go ahead. When should I meet you at the store at six o'clock? Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia. I don't know if Juan Carlos would like to try to do one. No, teacher, next. Okay, next. Okay, very good. Uh, so, my dears, uh, because of the time, I will stop here because I, I need to encourage you to uh, continue practicing models can, could, may, might, uh, should, shouldn't, okay? Because, because those are the ones that you will use uh, to complete the exercise in the plat platform. Have you tried uh, to solve the okay. platform? ¿Han tratado de, de, de responder la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Sin, sin problema, todo bien? Yeah. Uh, no problem. Everything's okay. Problem. Everything okay. Okay, I, okay. I congratulate you. I am glad to hear that. So I hope that you can advance uh, during the, the weekend uh, as much as you can. I will send you this presentation today uh, later. And I hope to start uh, mo uh, section number two and section three by uh, next Monday, okay? So okay. have a nice weekend. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Okay, okay. enjoy. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you. Good night. Bye. Bye.